How's it going everyone? John here and welcome back to another Streamlabs OBS tutorial. If you're new to the channel and new to the series, you're wanting to learn the technical side of streaming or how to grow, be sure to go ahead and click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell icon as well. And if you ever need to reach out to me, I have all of my social information in the video description below, so be sure to go ahead and follow me over there too. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about the live tab. Now the live tab is going to start getting into a little bit more detail on some things. So if you are really new to Streamlabs and you haven't checked out the other videos, be sure to go ahead and check out those other videos first before we get into the live tab. So what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way up to the very top left corner here, right underneath the camera, you're going to see live if you hold the cursor over it. And when you click on that, it's going to shrink the bottom here so you get a preview of your actual stream. You get a little bit of an idea of what's going on here in your actual sources for that. And then you have your scenes over here. So the first thing that you're going to see is that it gives you these recent events. Like anyone who has hosted, followed, either they've given you bits, sparks, donations, whatever the case may be. All that stuff will display here. So if you ever had missed a actual alert, like let's say you stepped away and people are like, oh, sub hype, sub hype in chat. And then you're like, what? Who subbed? So what you can do is you can go to your recent events and to give them that proper you know, appreciation, you can click on this right here and it will replay the alert for whenever the stuff came through. So that's always good to see. And you can also, whenever you're offline, you can see who has followed you and stuff like that too. So that way you can also see if maybe they're a streamer and you want to go and check them out. So for that, we got now is giveaways. So this is where you can do current giveaways. You can see your history. You can do giveaway settings. You know, yeah, you can go in here and all mess with all this stuff, you know, for canceling giveaways, winners and everything like that. So you can start a giveaway by giving it a command or enter a giveaway by giving it a command. And then you can give it a certain message. You can repeat the giveaway. You can close it. You know, it's gonna. You can put a certain message for it whenever it closes. Whenever it selects a winner, you can go in here and give it a custom message and adjust that stuff too. And then whenever, uh, you know, one is canceled and stuff like that. Now, if you ever need to reset anything, you can always hit reset settings, and then it will go and reset it for you. So we'll go ahead and like cancel for that. And then if you have merch, you know, you can go ahead and you can have that on here too. Same thing with custom so you can do create a new giveaway to get started and everything like that so this stuff is pretty self-explanatory if you ever wanted to do a giveaway so for live action now live action they've had some things hidden in here and i wanted to show this to you so in one of my previous videos i talked about how to use the wheel spin so you can still go in here and mess with the settings but you can also spin the wheel from in here it's still a bit of an inconvenience as to where it is whenever you actually bring it in they really should have had it where it's down here for test widgets, but unfortunately it's not. So you still kind of have to go through live tab, live action, and then spin the wheel, or you can just leave the, the actual Streamlabs website up and then find your spin wheel inside of the different widgets that they offer and then just go ahead and spin it that way as well. So it's, it's really up to you on which way you guys want to go with it. And for stream labels, if you need to restart the session for that, you can do that too. But stream labels is very easy. I've already gone through that too. Like I said, a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about that you're probably going to see, I've already uh, made a video for. So make sure you guys check that playlist out. So if we go back to recent events, now we have a few things up here, right? So we got a few, a few different options. So the first one here, you can actually pop out the actual recent events if you wanted to do that. If you want to filter, you can filter the events so you can have it for anything that you see here. Now, depending on where you stream, it may be a little bit different. So you may have like bits, you may have super chat and stuff like that. So certain things will show up, certain things will not, depending on where you're streaming. Now, if you ever needed to go in like pause one of them or mute the sound, or maybe you wanted to have a different type of layout, you can do that too. That's going to be this guy right here. So there's two different types of layouts. And then if you want to skip an alert, you can do that too. So the other layout that they have is this one here. So you'll be able to see like subscriptions and donations and everything like that. And then down further, you'll be able to see when people had like followed, hosted and everything and so on and so forth. You still have the ability of going to the giveaways and to the actions and everything like that. So this one's a little bit more straightforward as to finding everything that you need especially if you're going to be keeping this up all the time. So it's really entirely up to you. But I personally still like 
this one. Just because, I mean, I don't need to see all the other stuff. Like when donations come through, that stuff's going to show here. When subscriptions come through, that's going to show up here. So it's it's not that bad. I mean, you got it all down here as well. So it's just whenever certain things come through and everything like that. So it just really matters on how you want it to be set up, honestly. But that is pretty much it for the live tab. Very self-explanatory, but it's getting a little bit into a few other details. And we're going to start moving into a little bit more deeper things as we move forward through the series. So if you are new to the series, definitely go ahead and catch up on the other videos. If you find them, that is something that you need to know about because they are very self-explanatory stuff. But if you are wanting to learn more technical stuff about streaming or you want it to grow, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other content on the channel as well and follow me on my networks inside of the video description below. But I'll see you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments or on my other social networks and I'll catch you.